we doing? Anybody wants to start us off? Oh, that was a good team win. You know, I thought all phases played solid. Um, defense obviously, obviously did a really good job. I mean, we let a deep one get behind us, um, which we always hate to see. But I thought they rallied well uh, to a very dangerous offense. Uh, great group of receivers, a quarterback that was very competitive and accurate. And so I think for the most part, we kept things in front of us. Didn't let them in the end zone till the very end there. Uh, I thought offensively we put a lot of drives together. Special teams was really solid, so uh, total team effort. And uh, really proud of our kids. Our coaching staff does a phenomenal job. Marcus mentioned it um, of just making sure that we're prepared and going in with good plans, and then holding them accountable through the week and playing to high standards. And um, our kids do a good job of go out and executing. Yeah, it was big. Um, Dante, for sure, because he was coming off a high ankle sprain. So uh, he missed last week and, you know, through the week, didn't know if he would be able to play because Cyrus has a high ankle sprain. And so uh, we were kind of a revolving door all all week trying to figure out what our combinations were going to be up front. And uh, for Dante to step up and uh, play the game that he did, can't wait to watch the tape. But I'm sure there's some things there he can learn from. But I thought it was a great experience for him to get in. And then Wayland's played off and on through the, through the year. But, you know, so much nickel that we played tonight against them, uh, Wayland was in a good spot there. Well, we, we work on that. And, you know, it's a perfect situation for it. I don't know. I think it was like a 53-yard field goal or something like that. And, and uh Typically, when a field goal team's in there, it's a lot of big guys protecting for it. And um, uh, if they kick it short, if they don't have the distance on it, then we try to set up a return. I thought the guys did a, a great job of executing it. Jameer set it up really well by starting up the middle and then breaking it outside. And everybody made really good decisions, not blocking anybody low or in the back or anything like that. And, um, you know, it was a well executed play. Yeah, um, we've had that happen before. Last year when we were at Hawaii, actually, with the lightning storm, we had to do it. Um, and actually, the day, delay was a little bit longer there. Uh, so we have a plan when we're coming back out to make sure that we're warm and give us a chance to make a few adjustments. But, um, you know, really, it's just a matter of coming back and staying focused with what we're doing. And, um, you know, but... We've been through it before, and our kids know that you know sometimes you're going to run into situations that you can't control, and uh, that was one of them, obviously. Uh, but we got to stay focused and come back out and and resume play. And I thought we did. A good, I think we came out and scored a touchdown on that drive. Yeah, I think everyone's happy happy for Keyshawn. You know, Keyshawn's a great teammate. Everyone has a lot of respect for him, um, well-deserved. Obviously, that just didn't happen in the last two years. He's had a great career here. It was nice he could get it done at home. Uh, going down the stretch there, I was trying to keep track of how many catches he had. And at one point, he had five. And then we got him a swing pass out there. We got called for holding. That one got <laughs> taken away. Um, but, uh, you know, it was nice to see him get it. It's, it's well-deserved. He's a He works really, really hard, and he's a great teammate. And... Really proud of him. Happy for him. Coach, does this team uh, deserve to be nationally ranked, and does that matter to you? I don't know if it does. That's for other people to figure out. You know, I mean, I'm not. Um, at the end of the year, that's when it really matters. You know, right now, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You know, we there's a lot of football to be played, and you know, if we play well and people recognize it. Maybe someday that will happen, but uh, that's not a goal that we have right now. You know, our goal is just to try to work hard each week and get better and 
uh, take advantage of every opportunity we have from week to week. Well, he's a he's our backup kickoff returner, and we practice it all the time with Jameer. He practice he's the one who who practices every week. We practice that every Friday, and uh, you know, so um, we feel like he's got really good speed, and you know, things like that. And um, but he's a guy who does that for no particular reason, um, only that he's the one who practices it every week. After seeing Rappo, is there more of a chance that Jameer? That's totally different. That's totally different. You know, it's uh, like I said, you know, on a field goal team, you got a lot of big guys that are squashed in there. Um, sometimes it, there's a little surprise element to it that they don't know what's coming. And if they haven't worked on covering it, which that's the other part, if we ever get in that situation, we work hard on covering that, making sure we spread spread out and, and try to defend it. Um, you know, so it, it's a little bit different that way, and it gives some other guys a chance to do some things as well. DeJounte does a good job with it, and you know, but uh, Jameer's a backup kickoff returner for us. It hasn't really mattered if you haven't had a close game in conference yet, but what's the level of concern about your kicking game? I mean, I think you're scoring this, this uh, just extra points on the season. Yeah. Well, that one got blocked at the end there. The guy got his hand on it, but. Uh, Missing extra points is concerning. There's no doubt about it. We need to improve there. We have to be more consistent. Um, if you miss a field goal, you miss a field goal. You know, as long as you hit it right and things like that. And sometimes you're going to miss field goals. But uh, extra points, you know, those those should be automatic. And so we're going to continue to work at it. And uh, you know, really, Asa had, didn't practice all week. He hadn't practiced for two weeks because he's got a little hip hip issue going on. But th there's no reason. Uh, that's a little chip shot, you know, and so um, we need just need to continue to work and make sure he has the confidence and and that he's consistent with what he does because he's got a very good leg. Um, but you know, we just have to get his confidence where those things are automatic for us. Uh, he got rolled into a little bit. You know, he's been he's been fighting a, an ankle sprain as well. Um, I think a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if he played, but maybe played a little bit or whatever. But he's been dinged up some, and uh, and so I think he just got rolled into. But he's fine. There was nothing major. He he could play. Yeah. I don't know. We'll watch the tape tomorrow. I'm sure there's some things we can improve on. You know, um, and uh, there always is. No such thing as a perfect game. So, as always, we'll take the good things and, and try to build some confidence off of the good things. And um, the things we can learn from, we'll take those opportunities to teach and uh, continue to try to improve on them. In the first half, there was a couple plays in the Bulldogs on defense. I saw you waving your arms. Was that your attempt to get the crowd fired up? Yeah. That? Well, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I thought we had a great crowd tonight. I was fired up about the crowd when I first came into the stadium. That's the most people I've seen in the seats that early um, for two years. So I thought it was an awesome crowd. And I think we're improving with that. You know, third down's great. And, you know, trying to get them going on first and second down. I think they had a legal procedure one time because we were really loud. And so, uh, you know, things like that, if our, if our fans get into it, this can be a really difficult place to play for our opponents. And so, but I was... I was fired up by the crowd. I thought it was a great turnout, and I really, our team really appreciates it. You know, our, our kids feed off of it. Do you think it was loudest during the, uh, the field goal uh, pick six? Was that the loudest you know, thing you got tonight when Jameer was running that football? The field goal got loud. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't really try to gauge the level, you know, from, from play to play, you know, but. Uh, I know our, our sideline was fired up about it. I say I, that's the most excited I've seen our sideline in a long, long time. You know, that was, you know, what's really cool about something like that is when you practice something that hardly ever comes up. It's just validation that if you pay attention to the details, uh, 
that may never come up for another five years. You know, who knows? You know, but when you work at something and then it works, you know, because we we try to prepare for each situation that can come up. And, uh, you know, so if we're prepared for it and, and we execute it, I think that's validation that why you practice things each and every situation that we try to be in in a game. What's that four games of 14 points in one game against the Hawks? Are all those drops came before the end of the season? Are you still tensing? And how much did that play into the game? Yeah, I, I thought that was big before half. You know, the only, my only concern was our kids were too, too excited at that point. You know, we got in the locker room and had to try to calm them down and get them back focused and make sure they understand it's a four quarter game. and. It's zero zero, and and they have the capability of being a quick strike offense. And we had the offense, we had the ball first in the second half. I thought we needed to go down and and you know put another one on there. I can't remember what happened. Maybe we kicked a field goal or something. I don't think we scored, but uh, we kicked a field goal maybe. Uh, but we put a drive together. Um, but really, there was so much excitement on that play, you know, that uh, guys left the field really pumped up and so at halftime we just needed to kind of get them back to reality about you know there's another half to play and we need to keep the grind on you're a little hoarse tonight is that from some subtraction from this game or you just kind of turn into that a little bit it looks like having lost you really hoarse i don't know i don't ever yell too much but you know <laughs> not tonight i never yell <laughs> <laughs> all right <thank> you. <laughs> Thank you.